Hey, how do you doodly do? In this episode we start out exploring Nussfjord in Lofoten before we head over to Reine, where my journey with Simi Smile comes to an end. But before we start I wish to thank my patrons who support the making of these videos. If you enjoy them and would like to join, then head over to patreon.com slash sailmermaid and get early access. Other free ways of helping out is liking, subscribing, commenting and sharing. Now, let's get to it. Come along. This is not quite a Sørlande by Jan Selge. Very different. Yes? Very different. But same, uh, same charming as Sørlande. Tight Sørlande, as we know, is so much. Yes. And here it's... Here from here to here. Yeah. It's, it can be up to three meters here, I've heard. So very different. It's very nice to see. Nussfjord is often referred to as one of the hidden pearls of Lofoten. This well-kept fishing village were once the host of 1500 fishermen who came for the cod fishing during the winter months from January through April. There is found evidence of human activity in Nussfjord as far back as year 425 BC. But the years of glory was around the early 1900th century. You can now spend the night in the same houses that kept these fishermen dry at night, but at a slightly better standard nowadays. Wow!
These seagulls have been entertaining us day and night for uh, our stay here. <laughs> Minus you. Perfect sailing conditions for Bordeaux tomorrow. Is this where you're driving your boat? Yes. Yes. This Having a cup of tea, looking at the weather reports, and yeah, and this is my. Autopilot here. It's my autopilot. And this is uh, looking at the chart. Yeah, I have the charts here. Yeah, but the problem is that I have so many remote controls that I very often press the wrong button. <laughs> Yes, the weather isn't on its most beautiful today. It's a little grey and dull and we had some rain as you can see. Uh, but it, the sun is starting to shine through, so I think this will be a good day too. And we're on our way back to Reine. And I was in Reine just a couple of days ago with the car and I love that place. So it would be very cool to come in there with a sailboat today. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I have a feeling that I've been uh, filming a lot of mountain tops since I came here, but that is the contrast to the ocean that makes Lofoten so magnificent, along with all the small fisher villages. So that is the heart of Lofoten, and that is what you try to capture the most, because yeah, that's what you're here for. Uh, so I am looking forward to coming in here to Reine to get a closer look from the ocean side up on the mountains and the surroundings. I think that will be beautiful. So if the rain just stays away, the next half an hour will be an absolute joy. But then you just come into uh, to Reine, you don't come into the Reine Fjord. That's right. Yes. yes. Uh, we have a concern because uh, now it's high tide and uh, if we're going into uh, the fjord of Reine then uh, we have to pass a bridge that is only 18 meters and this boat is 18 meters to the top of the mast plus antenna and we're on high tide so not even the mast can come through. So we're looking for other options. We found an option that will work. I yes. Think. Yes. Yeah. So what's the plan, Captain? The plan is to go into Reinevogen and not into the Reinefjord. Yeah. yeah. Just to find a place to moor. Yes. Yes. So we don't want to try the 18 meter bridge when we're 19 meter tall. Yeah, no. But Especially not at high tide. No. no. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
you can instantly smell the dried cod hanging here. It's just a, a, a thick smell going through here. boat over here that is named Anna Sophie. I can see it's been painted over the original name was Houghton Senior from Måløy and Måløy is my hometown. Yeah, gonna help some. Yes, so the sailing experience with uh, See Me Smile has come to an end on my part. We are now in uh, Reine and from here I will take the bus to uh, um, Moskines which is only a 10 minutes bus ride from here uh, to get my car and um, that's it for see me smile this time uh, we didn't get to do much sailing but it was a beautiful time out on the ocean and with wonderful surroundings and good company so thank you very much to Jens Helge and to uh, Björk Tone for letting me come along Yes, that was the sailboat glory for this time, but other chances will come, I'm sure. That's it for this episode. Please give it a like if you liked it, subscribe so you won't miss out on my upcoming episodes and leave a comment down below as I love to read them. If you want early access and would like to support the making of these videos, please head on over to patreon.com slash sailmermaid or simply join the members area right here on my channel. A big thank you to all my supporters and especially to my gold supporter Harvey Engvort. See you next time. Bye bye.